coming. It's coming. This better be worth it, Mark. I, I don't know. If it is, I'm pretty boring. Yeah, I know. I think we're in trouble. All right. Should we lose it? No. Nope. Woo, it's there. All right. It is. You go. Okay, so uh, we are going to use our remaining one and a half minutes to talk about why the fuck are Mozilla and MacArthur Foundation working together. And you owe my son a dollar. MacArthur Foundation. We are one of the top ten foundations in the country, and we are committed to building a just, verdant, and more peaceful world. And Mozilla Foundation, uh, we exist to guard the open nature of the internet. Mostly we actually care about how the web works, and you might find it surprising to think that we care about learning. But one of the things that we found out over the last couple of years is you can take two very different things, put them together, and they get very, very tasty. And we want to kind of unpack that for you a little bit. So we are two foundations with two big ideas. MacArthur Foundation, you know our big idea. Although we have many, the one we're focused on here is connected learning. We've all heard a lot about connected learning. At the end of the day, part of what we really want to do is to build a connected learning ecosystem that creates more opportunities for more kids for success. And at Mozilla, um, you know, we've got a big project we've started called WebMaker. It's not Firefox, which is what you know us for, for. It's something about helping tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people move from being users of the web to makers of the web, uh, and people getting the skills to be able to do that. And the reason we do that isn't actually really because we care about skills or learning, love the idea of a connected learning ecosystem, but the outcome we want is that the web stays open and vibrant, and we believe if people know how it works, uh, that's something that's going to take us down that path. And these may seem like two divergent things, and yet we find that we have a common and shared goal, and at the center, we find ourselves talking an awful lot about making and talking about what making has to do with learning. Embedded in making are two of the core principles of connected learning, participation and production. Making makes learning relevant for today's world, for kids, and it is the goal that we share in common. Making is learning. And for us, the idea of a maker culture is central to where the web has come from and what we think the web needs to be to stay alive. If we actually can help hundreds of millions of people gain that kind of approach of learning through producing, that also is how they're going to live their lives. It's how they're going to understand the technolog technological world we uh, live in. And certainly is going to be something that keeps the web open for the long run. And so that's the, the chocolate and peanut butter that we've started working on together, is this idea that going after that making as learning objective, even if there's other stuff we may like about each other but isn't our core goal, is the place to focus. And so MacArthur and Mozilla are working on three big things together, and you may or may not know this, um, and maybe we'll swap back and forth for these. Okay. So the first one uh, is uh, something called Hive. There's a Hive in New York, a Hive in Chicago, there are other ones emerging. It's basically networks of informal educators who are taking that connected learning spirit, that maker culture, the spirit of the web, and bringing it into how they create learning opportunities across their city. And that's something that really has actually transformed and infused how Mozilla thinks about teaching web literacy, bringing connected learning into our practice with real instructors and real kids in real cities. I won't say much about this one because we've been talking about it all day and you'll see a ton of examples tonight at the science fair, but critical to reimagining learning has to be how we reimagine recognition, identity, rewards, how we reimagine assessment. Badges is absolutely at the core of that and the open badge standard is really what's so incredibly important about that because that's going to allow many players to play together and to connect kids' worlds. So the badges are really core to what we're doing together. And very core to actually showing what you made. The third thing, which you may not know about, and, and you'll, there'll be people in the science fair in the Hive booth that you can talk to about this, is we've actually agreed with a bunch of other people here, and hopefully you'll join in this list, is this summer to run a huge umbrella campaign around this theme of making is learning. The people who have this spirit that you see in the Hive, that you see in a lot of the connected learning work, that if you're doing summer programs that are about empowering youth with that theme, let's all focus around that theme and kind of move it forward uh, with events, with programs, activities, yes, actually also with badges, uh, this summer. 
And it's the, the model we're using is based on something we called Summer Code Party last year, where Mozilla just kind of said, get together with people and teach somebody how the web works. And we ended up with 700 or 600 events in, in 80 countries just through a kind of grassroots gathering. We want to do the same this year with MacArthur, with all of you, uh, under this making as learning theme. And for us, it's really important to understand that making is both digital and it's analog. So when we're talking about writing, when we're talking about knitting, when we're talking about arts, when we're talking about web literacy, all of that is a part of making. And making becomes an on-ramp and a way into understanding more deeply connected learning. And so that's part of our broader connection. But here's the thing that's really interesting, is that we have incredible synergy. And when Mark and I, as individuals, have these great conversations, we also represent institutions. And our institutions bring different strengths to bear in the conversation. And so while Mozilla is extraordinary, obviously, at understanding the web and understanding scale, what educator doesn't immediately gravitate towards an institution that understands scale, completely understands innovation and iteration. MacArthur has a deep tradition and understanding of learning, particularly in our DML. Evidence and rigor is at the core of what we do. When those things are embedded in institutions, they can often get represented in different cultures. And when those cultures come together, they don't always go, oh yay, this is great. In fact, they may often go, oh shit, would you just stop? No, no, no. Give me a speed up, speed up, speed stop. up, speed up, just speed up, speed up, speed up. Because this is not working for me. Speed up. And so we have learned an enormous amount from our working together over the last couple of years. As individuals, it's been an extraordinary partnership. As institutions, it's been an incredible push and pull. And I think, you know, we, we wanted to tell that story partly because people often do ask the question, why the fuck are these two foundations working together, including our boards? Yeah. Um, but, uh, and so hopefully that explains a little bit, but also to talk about that dynamic tension that I mean, we experience, but it is also a, a part of the revolution or the transformation that we're all trying to do here, which is we're trying to do things that focus on equity, do things that are based on evidence, but we're also trying to iterate and change and innovate. And living in that tension and playing together, I think, is a, a core part of what is awesome about this group and also what's hard in the task that we've set each our, ourselves. And so I think we wanted to put that out there just as an example that we struggle with that every day and we think that everybody probably comes up against similar cultural struggles. Yeah, and the one thing that I want to add is that never in that tension does one, one want to lose the learning, the rigor, or the evidence at the same time that one wants to jump and move on the innovation and the scale. And so that's really what's been so wonderful is that we think and we hope that we're keeping both of those together as we're moving forward. And you can keep the mic. So I guess, you know, that just to come back to the end, uh, what we've decided to do, what you'll hear coming out of our mouths a lot, and hopefully is a, a message that resonates and that other people want to echo, is this idea that we can pursue these common, these, these different goals, web literacy, connected learning, with a big focus on making as learning, and as Connie says, not just the digital, not just the physical. Uh, and certainly, you know, we're hoping to call that out as something to get everybody behind uh, and get people involved in this campaign this summer uh, with the idea that somehow it creates uh, some attention and some fireworks. With all of us together, so thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the dongle, especially. Remember that belongs to you.